The Area Special Olympics Tournament for Bocce is underway at Owasso High School. Yeah, lots of students, teams from all across green country battling out, trying to get to state. News on 6, Kristen Weaver live this morning with a look at all the action. Hey there, Kristen, good to see you. And the wind's blowing across Owasso right now. <laughs> The wind is out, Alan, but yeah, everything, everybody's out here. It's the place to be. There are about 600 registered athletes at this morning event, so it is, again, the place to be. I'll introduce you now to Susan St. John. She's the coordinator of the Owasso Special Olympics team and helped get this whole thing going. Susan, thank you for being here for us. Let's talk about what's going on today. This, there are lots of athletes out here and lots of excitement. We've got about 600 athletes and unified partners that are playing bocce today. We're doing singles this morning. We'll be doing unified doubles later on this morning, and they're all competing so that they can go to state games in Stillwater next month. Absolutely. Can you talk a little bit about the sport of bocce and how you can see everybody having such a good time, but how this unifies all the athletes out here? Well, bocce is a great sport because it's a lifetime sport. Anybody, our elementary kiddos can play it. We've got some adult teams out here, so it's really a sport sport that any age group can play. It's a great sport to play in your backyard at home. So it's a lot of fun. Absolutely. And can you talk about more generally just the fact that these events are such a good way for people to come together and to make friends, to have that social connection. Is that such a big part of what you do and what keeps you guys coming back to, to put these events on? Absolutely. The social part of Special Olympics is my favorite part. Our Owasso team does almost all unified sports and the relationships that our athletes and unified partners form the friendships that they form and the bonds through sports is the magic of special olympics absolutely susan thank you so much again it's a windy day out here but that is not keeping anybody away from the sport this is the first session happening right now two more sessions happening throughout the morning and the next step this is a qualifier for state so they'll be heading to stillwater pretty soon live in owasso Kristen weaver oklahoma zone news on six